on GB News, Nigel Farage spoke to host Dan Wooden about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's statement regarding Jeremy Clarkson, who has recently apologized to the royal couple over his article he wrote about the Duchess of Sussex for the Sun. In the column, Jeremy Clarkson wrote that he lay in bed dreaming of the day when she, Meghan, is made to parade naked through the streets of every town in Britain while the crowds chant shame, and throw lumps of excrement at her. On Monday, Jeremy Clarkson wrote an apology on Instagram and said he had submitted the article in a hurry and he had been referencing the fantasy television show Game of Thrones when writing about Meghan Markle. He added, I knew what had happened straight away. I'd been thinking of a scene in Game of Thrones but I'd forgotten to mention this. So it looked like I was actually calling for revolting violence to rain down on Meghan's head. I was mortified and so was everybody else. My phone went mad. Very close friends were furious. Even my own daughter took to Instagram to denounce me. A spokesperson for the Duke and Duchess later released a statement in response, which said, While a new public apology has been issued today by Mr. Clarkson, what remains to be addressed is his long-standing pattern of writing articles that spread hate rhetoric, dangerous conspiracy theories and misogyny. Unless each of his other pieces were also written in a hurry, as he states, it is clear that this is not an isolated incident shared in haste, but rather a series of articles shared in hate. On GB News, host Dan Wooden and guest Nigel Farage reacted to the royal statement, in which former politician Mr. Farage said he believed Mr. Clarkson should not have apologized. He said, to apologize in the way that he did was wrong. I mean you can say look if what I wrote upset you, I'm sorry, but I wrote it because I believed it at the time or I was making a sort of analogy with Game of Thrones. And you can say that from your toenails to the follicles on your head that you apologize with your whole being and soul but you can't appease bullies. Mr. Farage then added, they used the opportunity to accuse him of being a conspiracy theorist, a misogynist, and a hate monger. You begin to understand this is what cancel culture is actually all about. It isn't about disagreeing, and asking for backtracks and apologies, it's about the destruction of those with different views. Mr. Farage then spoke about King Charles and how he believes the monarch should react to Prince Harry's new book Spare which was released last week. Mr. Farage said, if King Charles thinks for one minute he can buy off Harry and stop him from writing another book, and one after that about his affair with Camilla when he was married to Diana because that's what this is really all about I think. If he thinks he can appease Prince Harry, then surely the way they've responded to Jeremy Clarkson tells you that can never be done and any thought of peace talks out of this coronation would be, in my opinion, a terrible mistake. Better to act decisively now from the king to strike these people out for what they are, otherwise the more you give and the more they will attack. Kiwi-born journalist Mr. Wooden also agreed with Mr. Farage and said that he believes King Charles has had a really difficult start to his reign. He added, but, King Charles, has to realize, Nigel, the appeasement strategy of Harry and Meghan has not worked. He has been trying to appease these idiots for months, and they've still unleashed even though he welcomed them back into the bosom of the royal family for the late Queen's funeral. In response, Mr. Farage said, There is no appeasing evil like this, and it's a very strong word to use but it's evil to see that response, the words they used tonight, 